I'm not sure if you'll understand that you, you can actually power the United States with roughly a hundred mile grid of solar. Sometimes people don't, don't quite understand like, well, how much solar is needed to power the United States? Almost nothing. The solar incidence is a gigawatt per square kilometer. This is insane. In fact, if you took the clear area, the area that is considered not usable uh, because a nuclear power plant is there, in most cases, if you just put solar there, it would generate more power than in, in the nuclear power plant. This is because they typically have pretty wide clear areas. Anyway, it's, it's entirely possible to power all of Earth with a small percentage of Earth's area. And then to transmit that power through high voltage DC lines, no new technology. I want to be clear, no physics is necessary, no new materials are necessary. We just need to scale this thing up. We have, the technology exists today to solve renewable energy. And as soon as people say, well, why don't we do it? That's because the energy basis of the Earth is gigantic, super mega, insanely gigantic. So you can't just go and do a zillion terawatts overnight. You've got to build the, the production capacity for the battery cells, the solar cells. You've got to put that into vehicles. So you've got to put that into stationary storage packs. You've got to put that into solar panels and solar glass roofs, and you've got to deploy all this stuff. But sustainable energy, renewable energy, will be sold. It is being sold, but it matters how fast we solve it. And if we solve it faster, that's better for the world. No question in my mind whatsoever that the energy storage problem can be solved with lithium-ion batteries. Zero. I want to be clear. Zero.